Hey there! Are you ready to run application locally to build a backend, or are you looking to contribute code to application itself? Well, here's your crash course to clone and run application locally. Remember, things change, and while in the future the steps to set up application locally may not be exactly the same as in this guide, this video should give you a pretty good idea on how to get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is visit application on GitHub, which we can get to by clicking this link on the application website at application.com. Once on the GitHub repo page, click on the code button and copy the git URL. Now, open up your terminal and clone the repository with the command git clone and the git URL. This may take a minute. You should grab some coffee now. With application cloned locally on your machine, you can open it up with the code editor of your choice. I'll use VS Code. Inside of the root directory is the readme file, and inside of that is the getting started with local development guide. You'll want to walk through the steps here to get application running locally. So let's install our project dependencies with the command npm install. Then we'll run the setup script with the command npm run setup dev. This handles tasks such as generating the Prisma client, generating the GraphQL schema, and building the different application packages. Please note that this command can take some time to run as well, and if it fails the first time, try running the command again. The next step will require Docker. If you don't have it installed, visit docker.com and download the appropriate Docker application for your OS. The download button should automatically provide a download for your OS. Since I'm running Windows, you'll see a Windows icon in this video. With Docker installed, run the command npm run docker dev. This sets up some of the infrastructure dependencies of application, like Postgres and Kafka. Now, if you check the Docker desktop client, you can see the different containers up and running. Our penultimate step will be to run the database migrations. And now for the moment you've been waiting for, running application itself. Application is actually broken into a few different packages, and the two packages that we're going to be running here are the application client and the application server. Here I have two terminals open, spinning up both applications. After a little bit, application will be available in the browser at localhost 3001. You'll want to create a local account, but since I already have one, I'll just sign in with that. And there you have it. You're signed into application running locally on your machine. From here, add a resource, like a service or a message broker. Build your amazing backend experiences. Good luck.